Hi, uh, welcome to this brand new part, part 30. So we are looking at questions linked with these three topics. Please subscribe to this channel and click the join button. There will be a lot of other posts related to questions and other things when you join this channel. Let's jump into the questions. So this is the first one for this part. So it is asking about so primarily we are looking to manage AWS setups which are safe, well architected and support multi accounts. So the first one talks about shared responsibility. So this is an important thing, but what it does is there are some responsibilities which you as a customer own it and then there are some responsibilities AWS owns it. So this is a good diagram here which you can take a screenshot and memorize these. So there is nothing to do with shared responsibility model for managing the AWS setups. You cannot leverage the shared responsibility because this is something which the question is asking about which service can help you with this. So shared responsibility model will not help you with this. So, th so this one is wrong. Now control tower. So this is control tower. So this is a service which is meant for the purpose where it can manage cloud setup. So it also helps managing multiple AWS accounts and teams and governance, which is very complex and time consuming, but control tower is meant for this purpose. In a nutshell, these are the benefits of control tower. You can set it up very quickly and you can automate the policy management and you can view the policy level summaries. So from an architecture diagram perspective, this is how control tower works. So this is my final answer, but let us look at option C and D security hub. So what is the purpose of security hub? It helps you to automate the security checks and centralize security alerts. This is how it works. You have security hub here. You have guard duty configuration and so many other things. And this enables you to conduct automated security checks. So remember, it is just not one tool which helps you with security checking. It's a range of tools. So you have to use a combination of these products in order to make sure that your AWS environments are very secured. And these are the use cases where you can use this product. But security hub is just like your security guard. It will help you secure your premises, but it will not help you to manage the setups and etc. So just like your apartment complex, you have to recruit people who actually manage the day to day functioning of your apartment complex and that does not include security guards. So this is wrong. And then let's look at option D, which is well architected tool. So this is just like a well architected framework. There is a tool itself. What does a tool do? It gets gives you architectural guidance. It extends the well defined architecture functionality to your architecture governance and so on. So you can use this tool. So architects actually make use of this tool to define the workload, conduct architectural review and apply best practices. But this has nothing to do with our questions. It will not help you to manage the AWS setups and so on. It is just like in your apartment complex. If you are designing a small building, then how well it can be designed, how to design it. It's just linked with that, but it doesn't help you with managing the day to day operations of your apartment complex. So hence this is wrong. So this is my final answer control tower. So which hybrid uh, storage offers allows users to effortlessly integrate on premises with cloud storage. So basically you have to integrate the two environments. So we always know storage gateway is that product. So whenever you have on prem, this is your on prem box and this is your cloud environment. You have to integrate this. So you have to plug a storage gateway here. This is your storage gateway. OK. So what it does is it helps your on premises application to get virtually unlimited access to the cloud storage. So cloud, you know, it is unlimited, but if you're operating from on premises and you want to make use, suppose of AWS S3, you can make use of that. It helps you deliver low latency data access. It provides on premises application access to cloud back storage like S3 and various storage classes of S3. This is important and uh, it's virtually unlimited. OK, and it supports your compliance efforts and you can encrypt you can enable audit logging and so on. 
So storage gateway is my answer, but let's look at other options. AWS backup option A. See backup as the word talks about, it will help you with backup services. It will help you with centrally managing and automating the data protection. And how it works, you have a backup, you create a backup plan in between and the backup plan can be for compute storage and database for example you can take the backups of databases or storages like s3 databases can be anything like redshift and so on or aurora database and then you can protect it and you can monitor configure restore and audit and report these are the use cases where this is used cloud native backup hybrid data protection and so on so in this question there is no evidence of anything related to uh, backup it is all about hybrid storage that is on premises and cloud so backup will not help you there hence a is the wrong option let's look at amazon connect and direct connect whenever you want to connect to the data centers then you use amazon connect okay these are the contact centers and you can talk to the agents and managers does the question talk about any such use case no that's why connect is wrong let us look at direct connect if you have a requirement to create dedicated network for example you have a building okay, on premises and you want to connect it to aws but not through the internet and vpn then you can lay down the actual wires the thick cable wires from between your premises and the aws data center and that is called direct connect so how it works this is how it works you have the data center here you see this data center and then you plug direct connect and these are the aws regions so this is how it gets connected through physical cables and these are the use cases where you want to build hybrid networks or extend your existing network and manage large data sets so this question doesn't have any such requirements that's why dead connect is wrong so this is my final option final answer let's look at the next question so basically you want to create a report of the status of your aws accounts and the report must contain the following so which of these features would provide this okay so i am credential report it, it is not going to talk about like uh, these things all of these things so we have to look at trusted Ad advisor report what is trusted advisor trusted advisor is just like your consultant you hire in the organization and it uh, he will or she will tell you how to reduce costs how to improve performance how to improve security so just consider this as a consultant but instead of a consultant this is a product itself which you can use to improvise okay and these are the benefits it will help you with cost optimization performance security service quota usage and fault tolerance now you can use these steps to enable the reports it will refresh the checks and you can create an organizational view reports so there are several set of reports which comes with this product you can leverage this option to view these reports okay so option c is my answer but you might ask why not option d i am credential report i am credential report this one is talking about so it will give you the all the users and the status of the credentials like passwords access keys and mfa devices it will not tell you if uh, permissions on s3 buckets are now inactive or not it will not tell you if any security groups are set through unlimited access it will not tell you that okay so this will not work for us and so i'm marking d as wrong now let us look at cloud trail logs b so if there is a use case for tracking the user activity then you use cloud trail whatever happens in your system each and every user activity is locked here this helps us identify the bad players or the hackers this question is not talking about identifying bad players hackers or going through the activity log that's why option b is wrong let us look at quicksight dashboard quicksight is a reporting tool if you create a dashboard you can plug it on any data source and create a dashboard it has nothing to do with security so it will help you to create some reports for your organization with the data but it can use any data it is not only for secure data so this is the kind of dashboard it produces but this is a this is a business intelligence and analytics tool it will not help you with security hence a is wrong as well so this would be my final answer please hit the subscribe and the like button do not forget to join this channel it comes with a monthly subscription but you will get a lot of add-ons to there so that you can upgrade your cloud knowledge latest aws saa 03 certification contents and questions latest ones will be all there in the paid mode this brings us to the end of this part we covered questions linked with these three topics see you in the next part